Hi everybody, it's me again, Jules. Um, this is my second video of the night. The first one was a huge haul that I just did on various lip products from whitening, lightening, lip glosses to Maybelline in the buff um, col color sensational lipsticks. Also NYX matte um, lipsticks and um, lip creams so there's a bunch of stuff that I reviewed so hopefully if you're interested go ahead and check that out um, this particular video is going to be my review on hourglass ambient lighting products um, so that includes um, three of their ambient lighting powders two blushes and their um, bronzer and mirage so I will get started with the bronzer so, um, sorry, it's a little dirty. So it looks like this. Oops, that's me. So it has the um, the Hourglass logo. And then in the back is just um, the name and product. So this one is 7.5 grams. And when I open it up, it looks like this. I haven't taken out the sheet yet um, that protects the mirror. And the thing with this, it, it, I guess it like swivels, so you could have it like this way, so you could use it as a mirror or um, like a standing mirror, so which is kind of cool. Um, so it kind of has that swivel thing, which is very functional in my opinion. But anyway, so the product um, looks like this, and it comes with like a little kabuki, flat kabuki brush. So there you go. So this one actually looks like the um, the ambient lighting powder brush that they sell for like $35, only this is way skinnier, um, but I think it works just as well. So I'm going to be using this to demo the blushes later, um, but yeah, so I think that it's like the same thing. Um, anyway, so here is the product, and let me just swatch that very quickly for you. It looks like this. So it has more of like a gray, a gray bronze texture. There's no shimmer to it. It's completely matte. And I really like it because it actually matches my skin very, very well. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put that on for you. I actually don't have, I like swiped off the blush that I was wearing today. Um, so all I'm going to do is use this brush and I'm going to swipe it gently over the product and I'm going to put this thing on. So there you go. So it's very light or at least I'm applying it very lightly. Um, so all I'm doing is really taking the product from the pan very gently swiping it so you can see there's very little product in there and then I'm just going like this so as you can tell there is now this slight contour on my face whereas here there's really nothing um, so I'm gonna do it on this side also So I'm really liking this product, but like I said, I really appreciate the the color on my face. It's not overwhelming. It's not too much. It's not, I don't know. I just love it. But anyway, so that's what this product is. Um, and I'm going to keep the brush out because I'm going to use this to um, for the blushes. So the next... Two things I'm going to review are the blushes. I think there's like six colors, um, but I only got two because I didn't really like the other color. So the one that I got is, um, okay, so here's the blush, and the packaging is very similar to the ambient lighting powder, which is this. It's just a lighter color. Um, there's a lot less product in here. Oh, sorry. So this one is seven grams, and it's $45. And it's on Sephora.com. They're not in the stores. Um, but I think I got mine at Barney's because, I don't know, I just ordered it at Barney's. 
Um, but the the blushes and the ambient lighting powders are at Sephora.com, also at Barney's, and also at the Sephora store. So I got the blushes and the ambient um, lighting powders at the store. So this is um, Dim Infusion, and this one is $35, and there's only 4.2 grams in here. So very, very little. But um, this one is so that you have your mirror, and then here's the powder. So it looks like that. So it's a light peach with um, the dim, and it's infused with the dim lighting ambient powder in it. So as you can see, it's marbled. So it's also mixed up with the lighting powder. So that's why it's called the lighting, the lighting blush, ambient lighting blush. So this one, I'm going to swatch it. Um... Oh, I didn't show you. So it looks like this. It looks very light, but amazingly, when you put it on your cheeks, it gives you just like that perfect flush. And it's amazeballs. I, when I had this on, I just look so healthy. Um, I love it. So I'm going to swatch this on one cheek on myself. So you can basically use any blush brush you want. I'm just using this one because this is the one that I have handy. But I don't know if you can see it at all. But I don't know. I just, I don't know. I like it. <laughs> to me, it just gives me like that really, really nice glow. You can't tell in my lighting. I'm sorry, guys. I have really bad lighting. I can't do about it, anything about it right now. But anyway, so that is the the, uh, the dim infusion. And then the next one I got is mood exposure. So this is more of a mauvey color, and it looks like this. So this one is infused with the mood ambient lighting powder. And when I swatch it, it looks like that. There you go. And I'm going to put it on, sorry, I'm going to put it on this cheek. So this, I actually really do love this one too. And my favorite of the two blushes. So I think this one you can see a little bit better. Yeah, my lighting is so bad. I apologize. But in person, oh my gee. It's like so cute. Anyways, so those are the two blushes. Um, the, the reason why these are the only two that I got is because the other four are like really like pink or bright pink so bright as in like uh, cotton candy pink and it's really not my style um, they're all infused with some type of uh, ambient lighting powder so I think you know there's a benefit to getting them but to me I just have a lot of pink blushes and these are like the, these two are like the most unique ones that I don't have yet so that's why I was more inclined to purchase those two um so the the lighting the ambient lighting powder I got them in mood light also um the powders are 10 grams and they look like this you have your mirror and then you have the powder. So the mood light is actually um, what they call pink and lavender light. So, um, and it swatches like that. And it looks like this. So it doesn't actually, it, it's not like, it's not as light as that on your face. Um, because the powder is so fine as soon as you use like a fluffy brush and just kind of like blush it at all I mean brush it all over your face um, it 
it just gives you like that really nice glow. Out of all the powders, these this one, Mood Light, is the only one that I could actually obviously tell a difference right off. So I don't know what it is about this powder, but this is the favorite one out of the three that I have. Um, the other one that I got is called Dim Light. And this is more of like um, a beige color. And the purpose of this one is um, to like blur out your imperfections. So I'm still on the fence about this one because I kind of feel like I don't really see a difference. But maybe like once it's set, it would like blur out my my scars. But when I tried this on a couple of times, I really wasn't sure whether I liked it. I mean, it still gave me that glow, but in person, I just couldn't tell a difference. So, I don't know. Maybe it's just not a good match for my skin. <sighs> Who knows? Anyway, the other one is called Diffuse Light. And it looks like this. So this is the lightest one. And I really use this as more of like an illuminating powder. So not illuminating in a sense where it's giving me shine or like shimmery. Because there's it's really not that shimmery. So it looks like that. And it has like a yellowish tone to it. So that's why it has like a brightening effect. Um, but I use this most of all for like under my eye. To kind of give me a little bit of lift. And I have seen a difference on this one. And I also just blush this um, over like the top of my cheekbones. Like that. Just underneath the eye. Kind of give, again it gives you that illusion of a lift. So, yeah, I mean, if I had better lighting in this house, you would definitely see how good these are. Um, but like I said, out of the three that I have, I have the Diffuse Light, which is the yellowish one. Um, I have Mood Light, which is the pinky lavender one. And then I have Dim Light, which is the, the beige one. Um, out of the three, I'd probably not recommend Dim Light. For my skin tone and I'm an NC40 right now um, just because it doesn't really show up for me but maybe that's the whole point maybe it's not supposed to show up maybe it's not supposed to be obvious should it should be subtle I have no idea but um, I'm not gonna return it only because I'm still on the fence and until I make a decision about it I until I have a solid opinion and that's when I'll decide but I don't know if you guys have noticed but my complexion has just looks a lot better from earlier today so anyway I hope that's helpful for you guys oh and um, the ambient lighting powder I believe are $45 so there's a um, a kabuki that comes with not comes with it but you have to purchase it separately and it's really supposed to be for the ambient lighting powders it's a little bit bigger than this one maybe two three times as thick but that one is $35 and I actually did buy it and I just returned it recently because when I got um, this bronzer right here with this brush they were like functioning functioning the same way so I'm like I don't need to pay $35 for another brush when the bronzer brush is working just fine. So anyway, I hope you guys like that. I'll put down the link below on where to get. Um, it's really just Sephora, which is the most convenient one unless you go to Barney's a lot. Um, and I'll also put pricing. And yeah, that's it for tonight. Stay tuned. I have one more video that I'm going to do. And it's for the Laura Geller eye rims. So just to show you guys real quickly and I already did this on the other video but looks like these and these are actually powdered eyeliners that you can use wet or dry and have awesome reviews online so I'm I, I got really curious 
I don't know, one late night when I couldn't sleep, which is like the most dangerous time for me because I shop like crazy late at night. But anyways, um, I'm going to be doing that next, so please stay tuned. And again, if you want to see my video on the lip haul that I did, please make sure you check that out as well. Have a good night. Talk to you later. Bye.